Recent treatment advances in chronic myeloid leukemia mean that most people diagnosed with CML today can expect to have a good quality of life and normal lifespan. Treatment of CML has improved significantly over the past 20 years, but as with any medication or therapy, you may experience side effects when you begin CML treatment, depending on your age, overall health, and treatment plan. A side effect is an unwanted or unexpected reaction to a medication or treatment. Most side effects lessen or go away once your body adjusts to treatment or when your treatment ends. You should speak to your doctor if you are experiencing side effects, as there are medications available that can help control side effects, such as nausea and vomiting. The most common treatment for CML is targeted therapy, with a group of medicines known as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs for short. These targeted drugs work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal, healthy cells. The most common side effects of TKIs include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, rashes, fatigue, headaches, fluid retention. There are a number of different types of TKIs, so if one kind does not work or is difficult to tolerate, you should speak with your doctor or a pharmacist about the options that are available to you. TKIs can interact with other medications, vitamins, and certain foods, which is why you should provide your doctor with a list of any medications or supplements you may be taking and ask your doctor about foods you should avoid. For example, corticosteroids, anti-seizure medications, anti-acids, and the herbal supplement St. John's Wort can make some TKIs less effective. Some products, including certain antibiotics, antifungal medications, and grapefruit products may increase the amount of TKIs in the blood to high, unsafe levels. Treatment options like bone marrow transplantation chemotherapy, and immunotherapy may be used or added to TKIs if you cannot take a TKI or it is not working. Your doctor may recommend a procedure called allogenic bone marrow transplant, or BMT, which replaces damaged bone marrow cells with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. People who have had a bone marrow transplant may experience side effects that come from receiving another person's stem cells, such as higher risk of infection and graft versus host disease, or GVHD for short. GVHD happens when the donor's stem cells attack your body cells, causing inflammation, which is possible even if your donor is a 100% match. There are two types of GVHD, known as acute and chronic, both of which can range from mild to severe, and even life-threatening in some cases. Older people undergoing bone marrow transplant are at a higher risk of developing GVHD, but there are medications available to prevent and manage GVHD. Though used less often, your doctor may recommend chemotherapy if TKI stop working or cause severe side effects to prepare for stem cell transplant or in the case of advanced CML to control symptoms and improve quality of life. The most common side effects of chemotherapy include nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, temporary hair loss, mouse sores, rashes, and numb or tingling in the fingers and toes. Your doctor may also recommend immunotherapy medications, like interferons, in cases where TKIs cannot be given or do not work. Side effects of interferons may include 
flu-like symptoms such as fatigue, fever, and muscle pains, as well as changes in mood. While side effects often decrease over time, it's also common to experience long-term side effects, which can last for months or years after treatment, like fatigue. Typically described as overwhelming exhaustion that won't go away with rest or a good night's sleep, cancer-related fatigue, also known as CRF, is one of the most common treatment side effects. Some people will experience what are called late effects or medical problems that do not show up until years after treatment, like heart disease, thyroid problems, or fertility problems, meaning you cannot become pregnant or make a woman pregnant when you want to. It is important to ask about, understand, and discuss the short-term, long-term, and late side effects that you may experience or are experiencing with your doctor's treatment recommendations. No one should feel that they simply have to put up with ongoing pain or discomfort because of cancer treatment. There are many ways to help control side effects, such as taking medication to prevent nausea and diarrhea, maintaining a healthy diet, getting regular moderate exercise, resting often and sleeping seven to eight hours a night, washing your hands often or using hand sanitizer, and avoiding contact with people who are sick. When taking medications, be sure to follow your doctor's instructions. It is important that your body has the right amount of medication in it at all times. Pill boxes, charts, and alarms can help keep you on track. Remember to stay connected. You'll be better able to manage your CML and have a better quality of life by reaching out, communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You are not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand CML, your treatment options, and potential side effects so that you are better able to manage the road that lies ahead.